Welcome back to Strike Accord, where we are journeying through the great Aussie outback, transported to another continent, another world, another universe by the captivating drone of the didgeridoo. The didgeridoo of the Australian Aboriginal community has many names. The Yidaki, the Kanbi, and almost 40 other Aboriginal names that are used throughout Australia. Could you tell me really a bit about the legends that are associated with the didgeridoo, a bit about the background? Certainly. With the didgeridoo, uh, its primary use in the old days, a lot of the tribes, they utilised the didgeridoo in um, ceremonies of, you know, of death, of, uh, of celebration like a wedding, um, and also to, I guess, um, sing the song lines, the song lines of each individual tribe. Now, according to tradition, women aren't supposed to play the didgeridoo. If they do, one legend says that the woman will give birth to twins, which was considered a liability. So, I guess I was better off on the drum. This piece that we're about to perform for you is a didgeridoo and drum solo in E minor. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going straight to the top. Straight to the top. Uh -huh. So William's got tape from uh, Carnegie Hall. Could you tell us about the tape from Carnegie Hall? Well, as you can see, I've got an array of sticky tape. You do? Over this uh, did you do, And its primary use is to cover up all the cracks that I've <laughs> occurred through my travels. This did you do has just as many frequent flyer points as I have. So. <laughs> All right, Chennai, I hope you had as much fun as William and I did. Tune in next time to Strike a Chord for more stories and melody. <laughs>